the PS3. Previously on Star Ocean 4, we were stuck. We actually weren't even stuck, really. We were inside this castle, specifically. Let's see. Alanair Citadel. Okay. This is actually a, this actually isn't too bad. We spent a bunch of time here uh, just grinding. I don't think I showed you that many videos from here, and I probably should have done that. I'll show you some more combat a bit later, because I had a lot of fun getting used to Limley, our battle mage girl. I mean, she's like, what, eight? <laughs> no, I won't, she is. But we spent a lot of time in this area just leveling up these characters. In fact, let me just show you down here. And we spent a bunch of time inverting these pyramids that were blocking our paths, and eventually we opened up new areas of the dungeon, or the citadel, excuse me. Over there on the right-hand side of the screen, you know, east of where we are, that was the restoration sphere. So that, or the recovery sphere, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's where I just sat there grinding a bunch of enemies, because I, as I mentioned in the last video, if you defeat an enemy that's wandering this dungeon, it goes away, and it does not respawn until you come back into this floor. So if you go through any of those blue crosses you see to the right of me, or I want to say it's going to respawn right now. Yeah, there's an enemy. Yeah, there's an enemy over there. So those enemies that are, those enemies over there in the distance I already defeated earlier. But as soon as I go to another floor, or as soon as I leave this area and load up a new area by going through these blue crosses, then yeah, all the enemies respawn. But the idea is that if you sit there by that restoration sphere and just kind of slowly just defeat enemy mobs you know just defeat these enemies that are wandering around they spawn mobs you defeat the mobs they disappear you can run back to the sphere recharge your energy then go further away and defeat enemies further and further away from the sphere so the idea is that you grind up and you can clear out enemies by going back to that sphere leveling up rest restoring all of your health and your mp and then working your way out towards your destination which is what i did here there are about maybe, what, five or six enemies between the Restoration Sphere and this particular waypoint. And once I go to the next floor, I can reach the save point. So here, there's a save point, obviously, because there's a boss behind that door. You know how this works. <laughs> so I guess before I start the fight, I should probably mention a few things about Limley. In fact, let me uh, play as her for a second. Characters. Tactics. Okay, we'll make her my leader. Actually, you know, I don't want to do that, because I already... Where's all my MP? Let me confirm all my MP is good. So I guess I'll use Limley later. Okay, yeah, looks like... Yeah, I recharged everything. Yeah, so what happens is I defeated all the enemies, re went back to the Restoration Sphere, came all the way back here, and now I'm completely full. I will mention this. Actually, yeah, I can just reload my game save. That's fine. So I'll just go down here and show you a few things with Limley. So I'll fight an enemy down there. And I definitely had a lot of fun with Limley because I think the moment when the battle system really sunk in for me is when I was switching to the Limley character and was able to make use of some of her battle skills. Specifically this one. Uh, hatchet Reel. Summon a Cerebus to perform a devastating, devastating spin attack on enemies. As you'll see once I get into combat, it's basically, it's, a, it's sort of a light homing missile. She summons some... She summons some, you know, some spirit that essentially does like a, she does like a fiery boulder attack on enemies. Hits for like seven or, hits for like seven or eight hit combos, I guess you could say. Let's go into combat and I'll show you that. Because one of the really fun things I had grinding was figuring out how to exploit that hatchet reel attack that she has. It's going to have to the L1 button, I believe. There we go. Okay, let's line everyone up. Press L2. There's your hatchet reel. There he goes. See? <laughs> so he hits for like what eight or it's like eight or nine hits. So if you really line it up properly, you can you can basically take out everyone in this mob if you line it up properly. It's kind of hard to aim though, you have to kind of practice it. The fight she has a fire attack mapped to the R2 button. In fact I can go back and check that. Yeah, I'm keeping the uh, Japanese voice acting because the English voice acting is actually kind of, yeah, whatever. We'll keep the Japanese voice acting here. Okay, so let me show you this. Let me show you that skill I unleashed right there. There we go. She has the hatchet reel. Hatchet reel is that Cerebus attack you saw me do. Basically, it jumps a few feet out in front of her, 
does a spinning attack on one enemy and just keeps going until it hits a wall. Which is pretty awesome, because if you, if you really aim it properly, you can, it becomes an AoE attack that wipes out basically every enemy in its path. Does a lot of damage. Love having that. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, she has a fire bolt as well. I think as she leveled up, she earned a healing spell. There's also another spell she'll learn a few uh, levels from now. I think it's a... Is it a energy bolt or something? Or I think it might be ice needles. Anyway, she has a fire bolt mapped to R2, and that hatchet reel attack is the fire is the fire dog attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Insert Brennan Stimpy reference here. So let's see that a couple more times. I'll show you the fire attack she has as well. And we're gonna need this as we fight the boss. So I'm glad I'm able to make sense of it before we start it. This boss is kind of hard until you level up at least to level 10. I want to say. Because I tried fighting him earlier and I just died. Okay, let's, here comes the fire dogs. Oh, sorry, that was the R R2 button. That's your fire attack. Let's use the uh, fire dog on this guy. See? So you have to aim it properly because it drops a few feet in front of you. And if the enemy's too close to you, it might completely whiff on us. It might completely whiff on him. See? Defeat 10 man enemies with the Cerebus. That's actually pretty easy. It's your best attack. R2 for the long range fire attack. Slower wind. It's as a, it's a slightly faster wind up. Because that fire dog attack takes a while to set up. A couple of extra seconds. You might end up taking a hit if, you, if you're too slow in unleashing that. Okay, so I think we've made our point. So let's go back to the load area. So that's pretty much all you need to know about Limley right now at this stage of the game. So we'll load that up. And I'll level up a few characters. Works out. I'll level up a few skills just to see what happens. You have a couple of other save points I'll visit. I'll show you a bit later. I only have 30 minutes left in this DVD recorder. Because I did a bunch of small videos without commentary. That show story sequences uh, with no commentary from me. And they also show you know hidden items and certain waypoints in the story that I needed to make. That I needed to actually complete so I can advance. All right, let's see. Let me level up some skills. Let's see what happens. Skill boost. We've already established that smithery isn't going to be useful yet. Alchemy, that's an item creation skill. Treasure sense, don't have to worry about that. What's artistry? That's another item creation skill. Symbols, healing. 31. You can do fireball, it's 117. Okay, so let's do some practice. 117 to 182. Maybe. So you can double the strength of this one attack with by leveling it up three times. Which isn't bad. What about the healing? Three, two, three, three. Yeah. No reason to level that up. <laughs> you know it doesn't it doesn't get it doesn't get that much stronger over time. So never mind. Alright. So we've made our point there. Let me do a quick check on something else. Hatchet reel. I wanna say that doesn't get much stronger over time either. I'll go back and check. Okay, uh, oops, switch. Okay, smithery, healing, rising blade. 20, yeah, we've already established this one doesn't go up very much. Rising blade. 260, yeah, this one doesn't go up very much. Let's see about this one, 312, 326, 340, 353. Yeah, so, uh, that's not much of an upgrade, I'm afraid. I guess I was hoping it'd be worth a lot more. Battle skills, first aid. He has healing. 31, 32, yeah. Doesn't level up that much. Yeah, that one doesn't level up much at all. Okay, so that's the same for all of them. 260, 70, 80, 90. Nope. Let me try something. Party. Yeah, we've already established this one doesn't do very much. Not when you level it up. So it'll be a while before I level that one up. Okay, do re mi. Re mi, sorry. Sonic Thorn. She doesn't have much. <laughs> I guess she doesn't level up that much. Well, harvesting might be something I want to level up with her. 292, 6, 3. Wow! Okay, that one I'm going to level up. <laughs> so basically, I need to level that up until it reaches 380. So that'll be useful. Okay, whoops. Got to keep forgetting to do that. Alchemy, Antidote, Pride. I never was able to figure out. Well, it doesn't tell you how much it goes up, does he? It doesn't tell you how much it goes up. 
Earthglaive, 195. Let's see, 312. Whoa! So ice, ice, ice needles would be worth it. 95. Yeah, that one's not worth it. All right, so we'll come back to that one. All right, so we've established a couple of skills. So we don't. We definitely want to do the Sonic Thorn because that one levels up a lot. And the Ice Needles level up a lot, too. So if we level those two skills up four times, we're going to double their strength. or And then some, so it would be worth it. Whoops. Wrong screen. <laughs> okay. Skills. Skill boost. do re me. Okay, so we're definitely leveling this one up. One, two, three. Perfect. So that's going to work. And the next one... Not there. Ice Needles. One, two, three. Okay, so we did. That was a pretty big boost on those two. So we'll save those. And we'll get more individual SP later. Oh, I forgot to individual, um, the individual points. Well, I did think it was interesting that I. What? There's a green bonus gem that appears if we win an ambush. Basically, we run into a fight where another enemy is nearby. An enemy is wandering around the, in the overworld. We get into a fight. But basically, let's say there are two enemies close to each other. So if so, we'll run into one of those two enemies, we'll pick a fight, and then the second enemy will jump into the fight as soon as we're done with the first one. So it's a chain of attacks. It's an ambush. And if you win an ambush, you get a green gem, which is great because it gives you SP for winning the fight. And, of course, you can use those to boost skills. Uh, skill boost... And we're going to have to go all out against this guy. Okay, so I save that. So then the question is going to be, what other skills should I boost? Let me do a quick check. Earth Gave doesn't really give me that much. Pride doesn't give me that much. You've already established you don't get much out of this. Hatchet Rail doesn't give you that much either, does it? Yeah, you don't get much out of that. 300. Wow. That's actually not bad. <laughs> We're going to 400 on the hatchet reel. Alright, so we level that up a lot. We'll level up the other ones eventually. Alright, so... We didn't really need to do that. But I'll take it. That hatchet reel is really handy. All right, let's do this. We're not saving this until we beat the boss. But we're strong enough. We're strong enough as is to beat the boss. We're skipping this. <laughs> yeah. Ah, defeat the dragon, Newt. Insert Monty Python reference here. Uh, okay, this guy's not too bad, but he, do he doesn't really uh, have any... You can't really stun lock him. So keep your eye on him, because he's going to dash around a lot during this fight. Down he goes. Press the R2 button for the completely whiff Stampede Slash. <laughs> you might have seen that already. You charge an enemy, then you do an uppercut. Iso Needle. Okay, he's raged out. Yes, yeah, see? He raged out. He's going to keep doing that for a while, so keep your eye on him. By the way, I'm not using Lim Lee, because she's going to stay out of trouble a little bit. Whoops. I should tell her to stay out of trouble. We also need her to heal us, which is another thing. That ah, see, that he see, he interrupted my special attack by doing that rush by doing that rushing attack. And you can't attack him during that. Got to wait till he recovers. Whoop! There he goes. Just have to wait till he stops that attack. He's coming after one of us. That ah, ah, crap. Limley has a healing spell, as do I, so I have to keep that in mind. What the crap? <laughs> kind of hard to dodge that, by the way. Whoops, wow! <laughs> Told you it was going to be a problem. Someone heal me, please. Come on. Yeah, Earthglaive got him. Uh-oh, he's, he's, he's raged out. Yeah, he's going for, he's going for Limley. Ah, ah, wow. Okay, I tried my, uh, Rising Slash. Rising Blade, sorry, see? He interrupted that, too. This guy's a pain. Hey, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Okay, someone else needs to draw aggro on this guy. Thanks for yelling at me, by the way. Someone else needs to draw aggro on this guy. It's driving me nuts. Whoa! I hate this guy. I can beat him, but I hate him. Whoops. Rush, rush, rush. I tried to rush him. He broke it. I tried to rush him. I swear I did. See? Someone heal me, please. Actually, I can heal myself. But I'm running out of MP. Blindside? Did the blindside not work? Yeah, okay, I blindsided him. Okay, so it's not a blindside where, he, where we get a critical. It's just a blindside that he can't find me. <laughs> Which is probably good. No, you don't. Haha! <laughs> okay, now, did I blindside him yet? Nope, he still sees me. <laughs> See, he's going for me. <laughs> not good. Can I interrupt that? No, I cannot, and I'm out of MP. You know what that means. First aid. Yeah, that's a skill I earned by leveling up, I want to say. So if I take any damage, there's a small chance that I'll get some automatic healing. Star Ocean 2, not Star Ocean, yeah, Star Ocean 2 and Valkyrie Profile do that too. Okay, someone's not doing a lot of damage, it's probably me. Someone get me some butt some big berries, please. Whatever those things are, they heal my MP. <laughs> I beat this guy. It shouldn't be this hard. Whoa, okay. Got a problem. Come on. Kill him. Someone's not doing much damage, by the way. Ow, ow, ow. Sonic Thorn, please. We won. Finally, at least someone got the final hit on him. And yeah, we're able to see how much damage he can do. I mean, we're able to see how much HP he had, so that helps. <laughs> Support car, I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> no? I didn't say it was going to be easy. I just knew I, I just knew I was able to beat him before, that's all. <laughs> well, not complaining. So now it's a bunch of storytelling nonsense. like a Power Ranger enemy. <laughs> yeah, he'll go nappy time. It's like a German video game. He'll just, he won't die. He'll just fall asleep. He's just tired. Very, very tired. Uh, so when do we bail? I should probably save and then bail. Because why not? So I've made my point. Well, actually, there's another save spot outside of that room, right? Well, let's bank this. Yeah, inside the... Wait. Oh, crap. I saved... I saved over. Gosh darn it. Well, I, sa I know how to get back there. I saved over my other thing. Gosh darn it. I should have done that. I saved over my most recent game save. No, because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. I'll get back there. I already know how to get back there. Basically, we have to go back to town a few times. We have a fire ring. We need to get back to it to a spaceship. And then once we get to the spaceship, there's a regenerating sphere we need to make a beeline for. So we'll do that. I already know how to get there, so I'm not going to have to worry about it. And then once we get to the ship, there'll be some plastic explosives that are glowing. They're basically, they're hidden in the environment. They're like glowing parts of the environment, and I have to uh, grab those so I can... Oh, so I can blow open some doors with a fire ring, and then once I get that, I'll be able to get to the restoration sphere and do some real grinding in the next area. So I know where my next grinding area is going to be. Though I should probably add that... Whoops, I can't get this one yet. There are, but see, this is how I know I have to come back here later in the game, because there's a lot of stuff I can't access now with the characters I have. Like the first planet. There are a lot of, there's a lot of mining areas I can't get to right away, because I don't have anyone with a mining skill. So at some point, I'm going to come back to these places. Don't know if the enemies will get any stronger, though. Yeah, like, this is supposed to be, like, some major story beat. Like, how do I get down? We're going we're gonna to grab onto this fabric and slide down, right? <laughs> but what is it? Yeah, inside that spaceship, eventually I'm going to get to a spaceship with a restoration sphere in it. I'm going to have to blow open doors with plastic explosives that are hidden in the environment and recharge my fire ring. And it's, it's a long haul, because we have to go over a frozen lake. You'll see that a bit later. Okay, yeah, she's very protective, I understand. Did she say something about calling him a pervert? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, Shaft isn't allowed to go down first, because she'll look up her skirt, I guess. 
but he's wearing pants. Anyway, um, I'm glad I avoided that. <laughs> well, you'll be able to hear it in Japanese once I upload those other videos I made. That old thing. So no safe spots here, so I'll just make a beeline for the town. Is this the fr Ooh, yeah, the chain combos I got. Okay. Now what are these, you ask? I should probably go to a safe spot before I start... I should probably go to a safe spot before I start using these things. Because this, this, these things are going to be assigned to a specific person. Okay, here we go. I want you to chain multiple arts together. Increases your accuracy and chance of winning critical hits. So I want to say... This focus skill is going to be for my archer, and this one's going to be for my melee character, Edge, you know, Shaft. So I guess I can read these. So we'll give that to him. Wait, did I give him the wrong one? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I forgot to say. So I should give this to Dore Me because she's an archer. I need to heal myself, so we got a problem. I'll just make a beeline for the town. I can always eat something, but you know, man, I never want to. Never want to. I never want to consume my consumables ever for some reason. <laughs> I guess I'm just OCD about that and JRPGs. I am OCD about JRPGs. There's no one here. Oh well. I guess I thought there were some enemies here. It's a good thing there aren't. Or if there were, the game probably took them out or put them in a harder difficulty level, which wouldn't be out of the question. Okay, there's supposed to be someone, there's supposed to be a place where I could save. I need one of these people to save spot. Yeah, that one up there in the corner. Yeah, we get a lot of snow. Yep, Lutea's house is where we're going to go. Right up there. There's a story section here, I want to say. So there's a story trigger here. Uh, where's the save spot? It's probably in another building. Okay, but there's a story area here, so let's advance the story a little bit. There are a couple of quests here we should probably do, but I haven't bothered to do them yet. 